Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. I just finished filming Dennis's sketchbook. It's really good. You're going to see the progression from the beginning of the sketchbook towards the end. He gets so much looser. His drawings are really interesting. He likes to draw robots and people. He also uh, includes perspective in his sketchbook, something that we don't really see much. Uh, but yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely subscribe. I've got another sketchbook coming in a couple weeks. So uh, talk to you soon. Be good. Hey everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. It is uh, late in the day and we only have a few students left and we are blessed to have Dennis who's going to share his sketchbook. Dennis, how are you? I'm good. What's your dream job? I have no idea. You have no idea yeah. yet. And where are you from? I'm from China but I live in Brooklyn for like seven years. So wow, very cool. Well, Dennis is wicked talented and I really do appreciate you sharing. Um, so let's start flipping because you have some mad skills with the pencil and um, when this is your second sketchbook and you started this around October right how how long do you spend on each page on average depends on the page but usually like 20 to 30 minutes so these you see what I mean like just uh, just raw pencil yep. uh, diving on in and drawing for the sake of drawing and, and you know, I, I love the color and I love the marker and all that, but I also appreciate a sketchbook that is simple. And hold on a second, like this is just a really... Now, these drawings that you're doing, you're doing these out of your imagination? A lot of them are, but some, like the figures, I use references. Okay, and how, how many years have you been drawing out of your imagination like this? I haven't been counting, but since, since I was a kid, probably. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. I mean, you got so much going on. And if you're this good when you're this age, I mean, I, I, I also like that you're mixing it up with like the machines and the perspective. I like the machines a lot. Yeah, that's so cool. So this is one of my favorite pages. Like, you just did that one out of your imagination? Oh no, I used reference, but I changed it up. Good, okay. good. And you're using a regular graphite pencil? Yeah, 4B or 6B. 4B or 6B. Yeah. And it's not smudging that bad. This is one of my favorite drawings. That that was a perspective homework, and I said be creative. It's not smudging much, right? No, it's not. I don't draw on the other page show, so it doesn't smudge. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now the hands, are these from life or from photos? I think some are from photos and some are from imagination. Oh, this is the classroom. Yeah, drawing perspective in the class from life. Great character, nice expression. Yeah, your thumbs are going to start hurting yeah. at the end of this video. There's a lot of pages in the sketchbook. And is this a character design out of your imagination? Yeah, I, it's not for anything. I just did it. Messing so around. Yeah, yeah I, I wish more uh, students would do what you're doing with the perspective. And hold on a second. So this is just um, birds from photos? Yeah. Somewhere right. from imagination. Wow. That's one of my favorites. I love that. Really good. I can't believe how they have not smudged. And um, who's... That's a great character. Who's one of your uh, inspirations? Um, I have a lot, but... I like Jake Parker, the creator of Inktober. Um, I like Evan Amundsen, I think that's his name. Okay. I'm not too sure. Yeah, and a lot of um, concept artists in the industry. And um, dream job. Well, at first I thought you, about. Well, you don't. You said yeah. in the beginning of the video you don't know, but you have to have some. Give me like two areas. These these are great drawings. I, I I like these. Give me two things that you've taken from the class this semester that would have you lean towards one area of the uh, profession versus another. Well, character design. It, the figure drawing in class pushed me to do more character design mm -hmm. because it's figure drawing. Um, I really wanted to do concept art at first. Yeah. For myself, but yeah. then. It's kind of weird too because I like some concept art like character designs and object design, but I don't like some of the environment work, so I, I don't see. know which one to choose. I see. Yeah. 
Wow, we you know we just passed a, a bunch of really wickedly good pages. That's uh, so. This is just out of your imagination. Yeah, these are. Yeah, those are great. Love the bathtub. <laughs> I can't get over that drawing. It makes me laugh every time. In class, you got to do more of those. I like how you're using shapes yep. and texture. Sometimes I run out of time, so it's. I see. Finish. Character design. Life drawing. So it's nice. Your life drawings have a whole different touch than your memory drawings. Yeah, it's different. You know, every time I film a sketchbook video, um, there's a siren, it's multiple sirens. Catherine? <laughs> Say hello to Queens. Four point perspective. Yeah, the only understand. Okay, we gotta go over that again. Yeah. Nice. That's a great page. This after I watch Spider Man. I, just... I love the shapes. Wow, that's one of my favorite drawings in the whole book, the one to the left. Yeah. Damn. Lots of gesture. So what is the one thing that you feel you need to work on the more with your figure drawings? Probably more fluidity. I get mm -hmm. stiff up sometimes and I don't realize it until someone tells me it's stiff. I see. These are not, like these are very motionful and very loose. I tried. It's just losing some edges. Was that that guy that I showed yeah, last Ian, week? Ian McKay. Yeah. I he's... looked into it. He's good. Yeah. Wow. Love it. Is that Jeff? No, this is someone on the train station. Well, it's just like Jeff. Yeah. He kind of strolls in with his headphones on. Yeah. Nice. So you have a lot of old school pencil mileage. Great characters, good job. So you finished your sketchbook in like um, two months? About, the, it's like near the end of the semester. You have loosened up. I can see that 1000% as we flip through. I think what happens when you do not use convex lines and you don't um, lose edges is when the drawings get a little stiff. So that's the one thing that you want to remember. Because right. the drawings that I look at that are your loosest are where you lose the edges. Right. Did you, uh, he was good today. Yeah. Wow. Last one of the semester. Yeah. One of the last ones. Yeah, still a couple. One minute. Yeah. So, good job. Very good job. So why don't you go to your other sketchbook, your first one, and you don't have to take this one and put it down below, okay. and just bring it to a page that you like, or oh, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Why don't you just face the sketchbook towards the viewer? Okay. Yep. Good. And just grab it on one end and just flip like you're flipping through a flip book, not page by page. So like first sketchbook of the semester. But right, yeah. So you've definitely grown and your drawings have become a much more sophisticated, but you have a ton of natural talent. I like what you're doing with the marker. I experimented more. So this is, yeah, this is more back in September. Good stuff, I mean, uh, excellent. Very unique sketchbook. Good. I don't, okay, let's close with that page that I really like. So you're gonna flip back. 
Some good stuff in here, I'm telling you. Flip that, yeah, just rotate it. I, I like that page so much. This is from Sketchbook One. This is probably back in September yep. of uh, 18, and you did a great job. Dennis, I really want to thank you so much for sharing thank your you. sketchbook. You're really talented. Thank you. And then we'll put your social, social media below. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for watching.